Hello guys, today I am going to tell you all the things related to CPQ. I am going to divide this topic into four points that are what is the basic sales process in any company? We need to understand that what sales process every company has, that what, what basic sales process every company has. Because Salesforce is basically used by the company to manage its sales process. And over there, there is a requirement of CPQ. So we are going to first understand that what is the sales process of any company because not all of you people are aware of what is the sales process that any company follows. And then the second point is what is CPQ and where it is required. We are uh, then going to discuss that what is CPQ and where its requirements generate because uh, I mean we, obviously we are going to use CPQ over somewhere. So like where is the requirement of CPQ? Then the third point is benefits of using it. Once we uh, get to know that where it is used, then we'll figure out the benefits also of it also. And then the fourth point is CPQ tools in Salesforce. I'm going to tell you that what are the best CPQ tools present in Salesforce. Coming up. So here comes the first point that what is a basic sales process every company follows. And here's a simple flow for it. These are all the steps which every company, I mean almost every company uh, goes through this step to sell something. So let's discuss each and every point a step one by one. First of all, lead generation. Lead generation means that uh, leads, first of all, leads are your potential customers. People or businesses who can buy your product or the service you are trying to sell. Those are uh, like those people or those companies are called as leads. And lead generation means that you are generating leads. You are generating means you are getting the information of that pe of, of those people who can be interested in buying your product or the service you are trying to sell. Then comes the second step, prospecting and qualification. In prospecting and qualification step, what we actually do is, uh, after lead generation, we have uh, information of lots and lots of people because lead generation can be done by email marketing, can be by uh, it, it can be done by social media marketing or it, it can be a purchase list also from a like um, I mean lead provider or something like that. So first of all, uh, from the from that bulk of leads, you need to qualify those leads or prospect this those leads. Uh, by contacting them like uh, for example you have uh, 100 leads you first need to qualify leads that actually who are inter who can be interested in your product and uh, like, like the unqualified leads means that you have information of some people but they are really not interested in buying your product or the service you are trying to sell so first of all you need to uh, prospect and qualify the people or the leads you have generated from this step and after this step comes the step of presentation and proposal once you have identified the people that these people or these companies can be interested or, or are interested in our product or service which we are trying to sell then you need to provide them a, or give them a presentation that this is how your product works and this is how uh, I mean your service works or this is what they have to uh, I mean do and th like this is this is the benefit of the product or trying or uh, the service you are trying to sell and then after giving the presentation you provide them a proposal in that proposal, you basically provide a quote based on the needs and requirements of their business. And this quote and I mean this presentation leads to the next step that is negotiation. In the negotiation step, what we actually do is we negotiate like the uh, I mean that potential customer that lead negotiate with us that this is the discount we want. No, uh, you have to increase it and we negotiate them and like uh, like get them close to closing a deal. So this is how a uh, like basic sales process works of any company. Or, I mean, almost every company uses this sales process. Now we need to understand that where does the need of CPQ or here, or where does CPQ lies in all this sales process? Before understanding what is CPQ and where it is required, we first need to understand the proposal or presentation step in in depth. So here are the five steps of that proposal or quoting step. Quoting is sim uh, like similar to the proposal. And here are the five steps which a sales representative of a sales company has to follow. Imagine like I am a sales representative. So for this proposal step, I have to follow these five steps. So let's see what is the first step. Figuring out products based on the needs of customer and then configuring them. This first step means, what this first step means is I first need to analyze that uh, what my customers needs and requirements are and what products and services suits them the best. I mean, they, they cannot be a single product or service. They can be multiple products and multiple services based on the needs and requirements of that particular person or that particular business. So first I need to make a list of products or services which I need to provide to that customer and configure them. And then the second step comes is 
consulting pricing spreadsheets or documents to determine the base price of the products required by the customer. Uh, what this step means is, uh, I have prepared the product uh, list of products and services I will provide to my customer. But now, I have to mention the base list price of that product over there. For, so for that, I have to go through those spreadsheets, those documents where the base price of uh, all our products and all our services are mentioned because a company can sell thousands and thousands of products and one cannot remember all the like the list price of each and every product or service. So I need to go through those spreadsheets and documents and then I have to mention the list price over there. Then the third step comes is determine which discounts the client is, uh, client is eligible for and manually apply them hoping not to make any errors. What this step means is like I have uh, like uh, prepared a list of products and services required. Now I have mentioned the list price. But in this uh, competitive environment, we cannot sell a product based on our list price. We have to apply some discounts to get the deal done, like to close the deal. In that situation, sales representatives uh, apply a discount on particular product or a particular service or on the complete, uh, I mean, group of products or group of services. And for that, what they do is they just manually enter discount whatever they think is good uh, like for that client. And we have to analyze also, being a sales representative, you have to analyze that uh, this client is eligible for this, uh, I mean, this, uh, this percentage of discount and this client is eligible for more percentage of discount and so and so. Then comes the fourth point. If a particularly large discount is requested, there may be a review period for that. Okay, uh, here comes a scenario. Uh, like let's say I have uh, I mean like uh, there's a company and that company has hundreds of sales representative who sells products and services of that company daily on a daily basis and to sell them and to like get more sales done they provide discounts of any like any amount they can provide discount of 40 percent 30 percent anything which is uh, typically not which typically should not be applied and there's nothing to control that and um, like this is what happens they just manually uh, I mean if you have uh, applied a discount of like 25% or 30% or 40% there should be a person who needs to review that and if he approves that then only that uh, I mean deal or that uh, I mean whatever the opportunity is that uh, that like goes to the next step if they do not allow that much uh, amount of discount then it is not allowed then so I mean they, they, there must be a review period for it because uh, like let's say there's a team of 50 people, they, they only required one person, like their manager to approve that and that manager should also have the time to see all the requests they have made. So there will be a review period for that, like so uh, like so that the manager can review the uh, all the discounts applied on them and they can, he can approve or reject whatever he thinks is not appropriate or appropriate. Now comes to the fifth point. Finally, once everything is approved, the rep now begins to create the actual code document that can be sent to the customer. Okay, all the things are done. I have applied the discount also. Like first of all, I have created a product list. Then I have create, uh, mentioned the base price. Then I have uh, applied the discount. Now it's the time to create a code that I will provide to my customer. And for that, I typically use a word processing software. And in that software, I have to prepare a code that will obviously take the time. It, it should have a proper formatting also. It should have a structured also. There should not be any typos or anything like that and there should be product list, there should be base price list and the discount applied and then the actual amount that they have to pay and all sorts of things uh, should be there in a code and it actually takes time to prepare a code because there are multiple sales going on um, like next by next and uh, so on so it takes time and uh, like after preparing it they have to send it to their customer also so this is how uh, I mean a traditional proposal or coating goes on so first you have understood all these points. Now let's get to CPQ and how does it help this proposal and let's see that how does it help the proposal and coating of a sales process. Now comes the thing for which we were waiting for so long that is CPQ. CPQ stands for configure price code over here and CPQ helps uh, sales reps sell more, sell fast and efficiently because it manages and automates the process of Proposal and coating. So let's see what each of the terms mean over here. First is configuring. Guiding sales reps to select the best mix of products for each customer according to their needs. In this step, what, uh, what this CPQ tool does is, it narrows down the list of products based on the needs and requirements of the customer. So that the sales rep does not have to do it manually like it was uh, like he or she was doing in the traditional sales process. 
this step configuring helps them to get the list of products or uh, services which are best suitable for that company based on various values present on that uh, that customer's record now comes the second step pricing pricing assigns the price of products automatically and assures that the pricing and discount is accurate and optimized uh, the second step in traditional sales process was to uh, like get a list price from the spreadsheets and documents um, like it can it can be a difficult process also it can it can be a time consuming process also and there can be errors also a single digit can change the price of a, of a product or of a whole quote over here what cpu tool does is it assigns the price of that product or that service automatically based on the uh, like list or spreadsheet or whatever the like list price mentioned in our crm or in our system of that particular product so that there should not be any errors and it also controls the pricing and the discount like i mean in the traditional sales process what we were doing is we were entering the discounts manually over here we can uh, enter the discount manually based on the uh, like company size based on the company's revenue and uh, all sorts of things and it uh, automatically controls the level of discount also so that we do not need to have people to review all the discounts so uh, i mean so in traditional process it was taking a long time uh, there was a review period but over here we can simply control the amount of discount sales reps are giving for uh, to like to get the like deal closed like to close the deal so uh, or to sweeten the deal you can say that so uh, like this pricing helps them to like get the list price of that particular product and like manage all the uh, all the things related to pricing like discounts and price and all sorts of things then comes quoting uh, once uh, they have got the pricing they have uh, implemented the discounts now the, it was time to create a quote and they used to create a quote by the help of uh, excel word processing software like microsoft word or any other softwares but over here cpq automatically creates a quote with all the information and emails it to the customer what that means is this cpq tool automatically creates a quote according to all the formats and it includes all the information that can include a marketing information also and uh, there, there will be no no typing errors also that 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 can be there if human is making a quote by himself by hand um, like by entering the information and there can be pro uh, like problems in the price and discounts also but over here cpq tool automatically creates a quote and sends it to the customer automatically so there's a, like the, there's not so much time required now it will create uh, it will do all these things automatically previously for doing all these things it requires uh, time for a sales rep to do all these things but now they can like i mean they can automate all these things with the help of cpq and now and they can sell more and they can sell fast now as you have understood that what is cpq and what, like what operations does it perform you must be able to analyze that where it is required it is required in every company where sales process goes on like this where they have to configure a uh, i mean list of products or services where, where they have to put prices where they have to put discounts and where they have to provide a quote to their customers all of those companies requires a cpq software as now we have understood that what is cpq where it is required now it's time to look that why it is required so let's have a look over here before CPQ and after CPQ, what that means is that before CPQ, how does the sales process goes on properly, the quoting process or the proposal process, and after CPQ, how does it goes? So let's have a look at the first point: inaccurate pricing. Before CPQ, what all sales representatives do was they look at the spreadsheets, they look at the documents, and just write the price manually. There can be errors over there because obviously sales rep is also a human, and if the price is mentioned wrongly, like if the price is uh, like ten thousand dollars, and you, you he have men, he has mentioned it as five thousand dollars. It can only be lower down, not higher down after presenting the quote. So it can cost like a, a big amount to like to the company, obviously. So there was this problem before CPQ, but after CPQ, there is automated pricing. What all a sales rep has to do is he just has to auto, uh, like configure the products which he wants to sell to that customer, and the price of the base list price will come automatically from that document. So it's, I mean, obviously automated. So this is the benefit of uh, CPQ. Then comes the ne uh, next point, inaccurate quotes. Inaccurate quotes, uh, like before CPQ, we were preparing inaccurate quotes. How? Uh, like, let's take an example that I am a sales representative and I am creating a, uh, like at least 10 quotes a day. 
and I'm just uh, like cutting and uh, like I'm doing cut paste and I'm just changing manually and I'm creating code different different codes for different different customers there can be errors over there like there can be typos which can affect my image or my company's image over that customer there can be mismatch of pricing which can cost us some amount of money and it will take a large amount of time for us so that like and uh, even after that we have to email it and it, it will take a lot of time whereas after CPQ it's accurate and formatted I mean and uh, like once you're done with configuring and pricing uh, like when, once you're done in, uh, after CPQ once the sales representative has configured all the products the pricing will come automatically and whenever he'll click on a button a code will be generated automatically based on the price of that product and whatever discount he has mentioned so it will come automatically and it will be formatted because this is the particular template every sales representative is using so and it automatically emails it also so there are very less chances and in fact no chances of errors uh, in terms of CPU whereas in the traditional process let's go to the third point waste of time and money before CPQ, all the sales representatives was do was uh, like used to do was 60% um, of the time was uh, like going into actual selling, but 40% of time was going into uh, looking out the, on those spreadsheets of uh, base price and uh, like putting on discounts and then manually creating the codes. This all thing was uh, I mean waste of time and obviously like time and money are cliches in the in a form. So. If a sales representative will be wasting his time, then obviously it's costing money for the company. So there was a waste of time and money before CPQ, but after CPQ, they just have to click a button, a code will automatically be created. They do not require a computer or a laptop to create that code. They do not require access to that document uh, of a base price list. They do not uh, uh, like they do not have to wait for that review period of discounts like they used to do earlier before CPQ because. Uh, once they have mentioned a discount, now there will be a person who will approve that discount. It will obviously take some time. But after CPQ, it can be configured and can be controlled automatically. So like on a click of a button, a code is automatically generated based on the price and it, it gets sent automatically so that they can close the deal fast. So obviously, I mean, uh, time and money are cliches. So if you are selling fast, obviously you are selling more and you are getting more money. Then comes the fourth and last point, uh, manual approval of discounts. Before CPQ there was manual approval and it will take, it can take sometimes like 7 days, like sometimes 10 days and it can take, take uh, in a companies where uh, there are like hundreds and hundreds of sales representatives, it can take in, uh, at least like 10 to 12 days. I mean if, if there are very less people to approve those, those discounts. Whereas after CPQ, you have automated control over discounts. You can just say that what? Uh, I mean discount a sales representative should give to that customer based on the uh, I mean based on the information present of that customer so it's all automated these all are the benefits of CPQ now as you have understood that what is CPQ and what are the benefits of it you must be planning to implement a CPQ for your company or for your for your client or for your customer then there are uh, all these popular CPQ tools which you can implement in Salesforce CRM and the first one is Salesforce CPQ. Salesforce CPQ is actually rebranded. Initially, it was Steelbrick CPQ, and Salesforce acquired that company and rebranded it to make it Salesforce CPQ. And uh, Salesforce CPQ is purely native, obviously, because it's Salesforce CPQ, and you can implement it on your own also. It's very easy to implement. And the second one is it's also very popular uh, CPQ tool. It's not only a, a CPQ tool but also a CLM and a billing tool. It provides all the tools from code till cash, and that is Aptus. The third one is Calidus Cloud. Calidus Cloud is also a CPQ, and more or, moreover, it's a data wizard which provides uh, I mean business decisions, future business decisions based on the past sales analytics to your sales reps. Also, it provides a very uh, good user interface or a good support to their customers. Then comes Pros. Pros is also a CPQ tool and it has a great user interface to delight your sales, uh, sales representatives. And it provides a website where your customers can configure the products they require on their own. So it's very, I mean, very good CPQ tool. And it can also be implemented with integrated or implemented with Salesforce. 
So these are all the tools which you can use with your Salesforce CRM and make your CPQ or your sales process the best. After creating your sales process or your quoting or your proposal very much fine with the CPQ tool, it's time to subscribe to this channel. Hit the link down in the description. Go to the YouTube channel if you're watching this on Facebook and hit the subscribe button to watch videos related to Salesforce every week. So see you next week. Bye bye. Take care.